Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you've never been here, take one second and click subscribe because that's how YouTube works. So I just pulled this out of a package on an unboxing one hour ago, well, one hour and 18 minutes ago with filming included and put it on, applied it, it's on there. And when I say this, I mean this wig. So I'm gonna go ahead and link it all down below for you in case you're interested, but I'm gonna show you how I quickly would go about putting on a fabulous wig like this from Amazon in the mail to on my head. Boom shabum. So I just got this. I did an unboxing for it and I have no patience. So I'm laying on my bed to cut the lace and I've been meaning to do a lace cutting. So this is a synthetic lace front wig that I got from Amazon and I will go ahead and put everything down below. It was under $40, I want to say 37 or something like that. It's a Bob style dark rooted blonde one, but it's curly because I have the other one. I have two of these and so I'm going to go blonde for the summer, meaning my hair will be blonde and I don't want to do my hair every day so I'm like mocking it with wigs for like the off days. Now I would have just got another one of these. They didn't have it anymore and I have two which is fine but then for this price I got this one so the roots are darker but I feel like if they're not next to each other you people just generally i don't think could tell also my hair is like a different color every day so i don't really think people care no one cares if you're nervous about wearing a wig in public just know no one cares <laughs> either people don't know or if they do know it means that they probably wear wigs too and they have respect and wouldn't you know what i mean like you can, like it's like oh my god you can just ask somebody why they're wearing a wig like <laughs> so i'm going to show you how i cut the lace i don't keep any of the lace i get rid of all of it i go right usually to like the hairline and then i'll like, trim it like so i like to use glue once in a while and the glue kind of like mucks up the lace and it doesn't lay as smooth if you do that and it takes longer to clean but if you usually you get like two or three times you can just re kind of cut the hairline if you go in like super carefully so I just go usually right to kind of like I mean to general hairline idea right there I don't worry too much about like the zigzagging but I also don't worry too much about if I cut any I'm laying so awkwardly I'm so lazy what time is that? All right. So I hold up the lace and use the scissors and the weight of the hair to keep it taut. And then I just go like this. I would normally face it towards me like this so that I can see the hair, but I'm doing it this way so that you can see the hair. These are just regular scissors that I use for everything, just as long as they're sharp enough. Courtney, get a life. Get up. Get up, Courtney. So. Just remember you can always take more off but you can't put it back on so then I usually with my hand or if I had a brush near me right now which 
I don't. I would just brush the hair because all the little pieces that you may have cut come off and that's okay. So now it looks like that. This one has like a middle part look. So here's all the hair coming out. This is about how much came off after I cut the lace. Just showing you that so that you know like that's normal and that's okay. I super I like love this hair that I have on right now, but I totally think I might just change it. Okay. So there's kind of like hair everywhere all over me. This is like how much came out of it. Here's what the piece of lace looks like. And here's what my wig looks like now that I cut it. So synthetic hair, full lace front, generally in the 30 to 40 dollar range or 40 to 50 range, like a high 30s to low 50s. I've never come across like a company. I mean, on Facebook, I know a lot of like wigs, they say it's one thing and it's, but if you, I go on Amazon, I've never not gotten what they say. So this hair is super soft. It's super nice. It's fully rooted the whole way through. This and this are elastics that stretch to tighten depending on the size of your head or if you have a ton of hair underneath or if you have a small head. So I always just go and these little like pieces that are sewn down, you can hook it on. I usually just go to the middle when I first get a wig. I've only one time in my whole entire life got a wig that was like super small. And I was like, was this like a baby's wig? It, but other than that, they're usually, they understand like you can tighten it, but I can't make it bigger. Like it was weird. But anyway, so I usually just go to the middle and hook them on the same one together like that for when I first try it. And that seems to work for me generally. I think that tightening it, you definitely always want to make sure that these are hooked on to something because you don't want them like hanging down like here, like on your neck. <laughs> But I think that if you're not going to glue them on and you're just going to like put it on with no, no glue glue method or no actual wig glue and you're going to maybe use um, the clips and to secure it onto your head and you don't really care so much about, you know, being able to do things like, you know, like move like that then you would like it more secure. I think that if you're gluing from here to here and all this is glued down tight, it doesn't matter too much if it's like tightly secured because you're creating it tight here. So the next thing that I would suggest doing, and you can do this with scissors or if you have like an eyebrow shaper, is I usually lay it down flat like this and take a thin line from the lace part and I again hold it up to create tension. I kind of give it a couple twists but nothing too fancy and I kind of cut gently and pull up like this. And you can't really even see what's happening, but you're creating little uh, baby hairs that are gonna be able to look more natural when you, so you don't have that like hard defined hairline. Having like little hairs that are moving around, like it just, looks more natural. So it takes a, an extra second, but I think it's worth it. And I like doing it before I put it on, but you can touch it up after, which I probably will. So 
I have a round face. I always end up when I cut my wigs putting like I don't want to call these bangs but obviously when I got this one like all these pieces here were all the same length as this. Wow my boob looks gigantic right now. Sorry. <laughs> and I just feel like it frames my face better and kind of I'm I'm not trying to be like oh and accentuate my big fat face so I know that I'll end up cutting it a little bit more but I want to put it on so I just like to cut a little bit of the baby hair I like to cut a little bit of I just like to cut a little bit of the baby the baby hairs and the lace and then I'm gonna put it on to see what its life is about so what this oh my lord a lot of hair on me don't do it in your bed that's dumb super dumb oh look at my new boots yas this particular hair that I am cutting now came in this bag with a two-piece wig set, uh, cap in this shade in this bag in this package. There's something else in here. <gasps> Imagine I threw this away. I bet I have thrown things away before. It's my new cell phone case. <laughs> you suck at life. What's this fingernail over here? It's freaking me out. Like, what is this? Yeah, I got all ten of mine. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so in there, in that, in that, and then I'm just going to toss it on to see what its life is about. Yes. I like these dark roots. I'm feeling like a little Madonna vibe over here. I mean, this is where we need to do some work on it. I would, I feel self conscious about that. But other than that, then you can do this. Yes. So I definitely like that. Now, now that it's on, I can see that I definitely need to be cutting a ton from around here. So I'm gonna do the same thing, which is hold it and kind of like cut in like this, pull it little bits. I also like to take it from like both sides of the part of the wig. Almost like as if I was like how I would cut bangs. I have no mirror where I am right now. I am only just using reverse camera. Oh, I just hit myself in the eye with my king claw. Did you see that? Okay. I'm cutting a lot of this. But that just made me feel like a million times better. Just that like hard, hard line. Not my jam. I'm going to go ahead and do it like all around my face. I also um, think that it helps like thin out the bulk. And like I always say, remember you can always cut more, but you can't put it back.
I'm gonna go get my gel on hairspray and wig glue, I guess, just in case. Cause I kind of have to like, use it. Okay, so depending on like what I am doing with my life, I use wood glue, but I always use a got to be free spray and glued, got to be glued, lasting free spray and styling gel. I usually just put it on with my finger. like a thin layer and then the mixture of these things really hold up good like that stripping down my forehead I see so I like to put it down a little further than I like it while it's still wet and then kind of push it To where I want it or think I want it and then gently with either a brush or your fingers or a comb or the back of a rat tail comb pull it all forward and I usually like press like that the reason that I do this is because all the baby hairs that we just cut are gonna stick in it and normally I would use a hair dryer and just blow dry it. Mm -hmm. They've stuck. I just like to push them. Lace kind of like back and then the hair like over it so you don't see that harsh hairline and this is just gel and hairspray that I'm using so you don't have to be like oh no like if it doesn't look right just add water it'll come right off hair dryer helps but I honestly think pressing it and the heat from your hands and just it's got to stay in the same place it can't move around so if you don't want to do this a lot of people like tie something around nice and tight I can never do it right it never works for me I suck at that so I just do this okay well I'm actually going to be late for something if I don't do this so IRL I would do this which is wig glue I use ghost bond you only need a little I'm using the back of a eyebrow shaper and just putting this much not in the hair but on my forehead a thin layer you have like 20 seconds to adjust where you put it before it literally bonds I would say that it's the most convenient way to do it while you're applying it it's the hardest way to remove you have to use isopropyl alcohol to get it off that's what she said dots not in the hair on the lace so I'm just gonna make sure the lace is over it when I Dink, dink, dink. Take it, put it on it, and brush it forward just like with the gel. I'm gonna, I have wrinkles right here in my forehead I don't like, so I take the wig down a little further here, and then once it hits that glue, I pull it. Hmm. That's on there.
Okay, the only other thing now that I would do is get a hairbrush and a water spray bottle of water just because I've had to do so much and like crazy stuff with the wig that I feel like it's kind of like not living its best life so I just like to just brush it now. Okay. Okay, so it's been one hour since I opened this. I put the stuff on my hairline. Stuff is glue. I don't know why I'm saying stuff. I put the glue and then just when I was kind of like getting up and going over to my bureau to get mousse, I just put this on just for good measure it kind of just holds it in place and the longer you wear this the better if you sleep in it i would suggest wearing something so it's just like a bandana that's like one of those this is what i use or you can tie something on so now that this is attached i'm gonna actually put mousse in it like as if it was my hair which it is now if you ask me because it kind of has curl to it and I know that synthetic hair can get frizzy and I kind of like the look of the looking like it has product in it I got five minutes before whoa hey, boobs I got five minutes before I have to leave I'm literally five minutes isn't a long time but it's better than nothing I'm just gonna put this right back on here let the curls set up with the mousse touch up my face for a second possibly change my shirt because holy hell and right before I walk out I'll show you so I just changed location real quick because I wanted to give you guys like the full vibe of this wig because it's really pretty. So let's see what we're working with here. Take that off, fluff her up. But not too much, I don't want to get it like fluffy. I, when I say fluff her up, I just mean like the the root area where I have the bandana, I don't want it like slicked down on my forehead. Not bad. I did it in one hour. It's actually been one hour and 18 minutes, but I am still impressed with myself. Though I do cut wigs and send them to people if that's something that you're interested in doing as well. Don't forget about my giveaway I have going on right now. It's pretty sick if you ask me. So I'll link all the information down below for this hair. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm just always trying to help other other people when it comes to this wig life because I am so about it I just wanted to say that I love you very very much to all my friends and all my supporters and extra love to all my haters bye guys <laughs>